Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally getting around to doing the Neverfull collection video. So I have four Neverfulls in my collection. I sold two, gave one to my daughter. That would have been seven. <laughs> but I love the Neverfull. I think it's anything but basic. So I want to show you what I have in my collection when and how I use each one because they're all a little bit different in my opinion. So if you're interested to see my Neverfull collection, stick around. But before we get started, I need to show you my bag of the week. It is so pretty, you guys. Bam! Look at this color. Look at this ox blood color. Isn't it beautiful? It's one of my fabulous Amazon finds. And if you guys check my description box, you'll see that I list fabulous Amazon finds all the time. This bag is so fabulous, I have no words. It's out of genuine Togo leather. And you guys know that a lot of these bags are made out of the same materials in the same factories that some of the luxury handbags are made in. Now, this bag has really quenched my desire for a certain, certain bag. <laughs> so I absolutely adore this Amazon bag. And just look at it. It is so, so, so pretty. And it's it's got that kind of, um, kind of suede interior. I don't have an organizer in it. I don't feel the need for one. I just love it. The only thing about this bag is the lock is kind of chimpsy. So I'm thinking about trying to find some Hermes locks to put on this bag. And I think that then, you know, I probably won't ever use it. I just kind of throw it over. Now you guys, if you watch me, you know that I have two other bags. I have one in Kelly Green and a beautiful blue, kind of like the Escal Collection blue. Well, guess what? I ordered another one in the gold. I can't, I can't help it, you guys. They're so inexpensive and so fabulous that I would rather have all the colors than one luxury designer bag. That's just me. I love it. This is my bag of the week. And they, like on Amazon, Sometimes you look on there and there's tons of colors to choose from and sometimes it's limited, but it always comes back. Check out the description box, you guys. I am absolutely loving this color, loving this bag. <laughs> and like I said, I've got number four coming in. My last video, I didn't do story time. And yes, I want to give a shout out to Winnie. Hi, Winnie. I have co totally copied her because I love Winnie's story time, you guys. She's such a good friend, such a funny, funny, naturally funny person. And I said, I hope you don't mind that I copied your story time. And she said, oh no, I love it. This is uh, a really funny thing that happened to my dad. It's not about me. And my dad's in heaven and I miss him so much, but I have so many wonderful memories of my dad. So. You guys, he was an immigrant from Greece and he did not speak English very well at all. <laughs> he eventually, you know, over the years got better, but he always had this really strong Greek accent. He taught himself to read and write in English, but when we were young, he did not read and write in English. Even when he would write in English later down the years, his writing looked like Greek writing. <laughs> but, okay, so let me title this story. The name of my story is The Day My Dad Ate an Alpo Sandwich. <laughs> All right, so my dad had a German Shepherd and they would take him to police school and he was trained at the police academy. My dad loved that dog. So he would feed him Alpo mixed in with like the crunchy dog food, but my mom, I guess, had opened a can of Alpo and she fed the dog, like mixed it in with some crunchy dog food. And so my dad was hungry and he goes in the kitchen looking for something to eat. He gets out some bread, gets out the Alpo. He looked at it, smelled of it. He said he thought it smelled funny, but he thought it was corned beef hash. 
He thought it was corned beef hash. So he made himself a nice sandwich for lunch. He sat there and ate the entire thing. And when my mom came in, he told her this corned beef hash, he said it doesn't really, it didn't really taste right, but I ate it anyway. And she's like, and my dad's name was Vasilius, but she called him Bill. She said, Bill, that was the dog's food. That was Alpo. <laughs> I'm telling you. <sighs> that always cracked me up so bad. I have a lot of stories about my dad. I might have to share more, but that one is hilarious. That one is one that we never quite let him live that down. I mean, he knew it smelled funny. He knew it tasted funny, but I guess he was just really hungry. And he just sat there and ate himself a nice, yummy Alpo sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get into the video now. I'm gonna start out with my Neverfull GM. It's the only one in my collection. It's in the monogram. And I did have the Neverfull in the Azure, and I gave it to my daughter. She really liked it. I mean, I liked it, but you know, she's my only daughter, so I gave her that one. This is a repurchase, and I'm not much of a repurchaser, but really in my never full collection I am and you'll understand this later I had a never full that I got about 12 years ago and it's the original one with the script writing and you guys that watch me know that I've had me a little cry fest over the original one with the script writing I sold it I knew it's like I almost stopped myself but I knew that I was making a mistake have you ever made a mistake knowing you're making a mistake so I sold it and I really regretted it so a couple years went by and I thought you know I'm just gonna repurchase it I just miss it so bad I know it's not the original one with the script writing and mine is the one with the tan interior I think you can also get it in that pavone but that really wasn't my style I just like this beautiful tan interior very classic so that was the one I wanted and so I did repurchase this Neverfull and the upside I guess is I got the pouch with it which I love my pouches I'm not gonna dig it out I repurchased it I'm so thrilled that I did the patina or the let the <laughs> the vachetta Pachetta, Pachetta, tomato, tomato, whatever. Um, it looks still really new. And I've only carried this maybe two or three times since I got it. And that was why I sold the original one because I didn't carry it a lot. I mostly take this on car trips. I don't usually take this when I go on airplane trips. I prefer a backpack. For car trips, I love this because I always do like to take a crossbody or a smaller bag that I can put inside here. I can put some art books in there and just whatever, you know. And this is a car trip bag. When we go in a restaurant, I just throw this over my shoulder and take it in with me. That is one reason why I would never get a key ball. I can't handle that kind of stress in my life. I've told you guys that before. But this is a forever bag. This is not going anywhere anywhere i'm so thrilled to have it i mean it's not an everyday bag for me occasionally i will pull it out and cinch up the sides like it is and use it for a couple of days but it is a really large bag but i think it's really pretty like this i love it both ways but it's not a bag that i carry a lot and that was why I made the big mistake and sold the first one. So I'm so happy that I have this one. And I really do consider it a travel bag. Okay. Never full number two is another repurchase. So this is what I meant by it. You'll understand later. So several years ago, we went to Spain and I purchased this bag. But I got it in the pink. And this one is the red interior. Well, at the time... I did not know the red interior was available. Actually, I have to say, I've always had pretty good experiences at Louis Vuitton, but that experience was my, it wasn't a bad experience, but then again, it wasn't a great experience. They were really busy, and the SA seemed really rushed, and I told him what I was looking for. He went in the back, pulled out the, the Neverfull and the Demier Ebene, 
he did not tell me there were options because I would have chosen the red one. But so I got it and I felt really rushed throughout the whole thing. So it wasn't really that great of an experience. And I always equate or almost always equate my handbags with some kind of a travel trip or an experience. And if you guys remember my last video, I said I'm going to be buying fewer luxury handbags and it's going to go back to how it used to be like if it's my birthday or christmas or we're on a fabulous holiday if that ever happens again then you know i would purchase something but just to be buying to be buying i can't continue to do that it's just ridiculous you guys so anyway i got the neverfull and when i got home it wasn't maybe a week or two later i realized or saw that they had with the red interior, the never full with the red interior. I was sick because I was in love. I just, is there anything prettier than this combination with the red? It's beautiful. And I'm not really a pink person, even though I do have a pink capucines. Let's see. I do have a few things that are pink, but I don't know. I, once I saw the red interior, I was no longer satisfied with my bag. I was absolutely sick about it. Really, about two weeks after we got home, and I told Keith, I'm selling it. He said, you're selling your bag? You just got it. And I said, I'm selling it now while it's brand new, and then I'm going to repurchase in the red. So, that's what I did. I sold it, and I sold it immediately because I got it in Spain. I had a pretty good deal on it. So, I got all of my money back but I didn't repurchase it for a couple of years. And I just got this one last year. I don't know why I didn't repurchase it immediately like I had originally planned. I just didn't and I kept saying to myself, I have to repurchase, I have to repurchase, so I finally did. And you guys, this bag is never going anywhere. Ah, oh, this is the best, I think is the most beautiful bag. I love it. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love my Neverfull in the Deme e Bean, which I've always said this is my favorite Louis Vuitton canvas, but I guess it really just depends on what it is because um, Azure, I love Azure, and I, for, in the spring, I do plan to get another Neverfull in the Azure with the tan interior. I don't want that pink. I'm so happy, and this is a great rainy day bag. It's a great travel bag. It's a great everyday bag, and back when I was working in the office, it was a great work tote. There's nothing but fabulousness about this bag. <laughs> I love it. I'm in love with it. I want to make out with it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I do. I love it. I love it. Oh. I mean, I could sit here and look like that. Look at this all day long. It's so beautiful. And actually, I haven't uh, carried this in a little while. So maybe this will be my bag of the week next week. So now I have another Neverfull to share with you guys. And you guys, you know, I have shown you this so many times. And it's probably one of the top three bags in my collection. I know I say I love them all and it's my favorite. They're all my favorites. But this one is fantastic. All right, are you guys ready? <laughs> you ready for this? Bam. Oh yeah, baby. My beautiful Neverfull MM in the epi leather in the hot pink interior. Now you guys, this pink, this is a pink interior that I could really make out with. <laughs> I mean, I just want to put my head all up inside of this bag. It is so beautiful and my husband bought this for me for Christmas this Christmas will be five years ago and it looks brand new and Autumn Beckman you know you know how she feels about me you guys she's very obsessed she has a very unhealthy obsession with me and she's always sending me little tokens of her love and she sent me this tag and i got it hot stamped when i was in san francisco actually it was she sent me that for christmas but um anyway this bag i mean it looks brand new why did they stop making this combination i don't know but do you guys remember a few months ago or a couple months ago i ordered this bag in the epi leather 
in that beautiful galet color and I was so disappointed it was all dented up and smashed and they sent it without a dust bag they sent it without a ribbon and I sent it back well when I opened that bag and picked it up I could feel a difference I've carried this bag almost five years I know what this bag feels like this bag is thick this bag is nothing but sheer fabulousness and I do have a Samorga organizer on the inside. I used to have a discount code, but I think it has expired. I need to call them or get in touch with them and get another code. I am going to list my favorite tote organizer in the description box, which is a Veracord. And they fit in totes of this size, any kind, and it has a zipper. But anyway, back to the Neverfull. <sighs> the one that they sent me, I don't know if they're all like that. I just, I don't know. But it was thin, it was flimsy, it was dented. And on one side of it, it had like little waves of bumps, like a bumpy texture. It was a real disappointment because I thought, oh, I'm going to have a black epi leather and then that beautiful galet. I'm not saying I'll never repurchase it, but I would have to go and check it out for myself. If I never have another one, this is, I, I have the best one the best. And I have used this so much. I love it. I just love everything about this bag. Top three handbag in my collection. Bam! <laughs> this is the most beautiful one. Look at it. I'm, love, I'm loving this bag. I love you so much. You're so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Look at this side. I'm obsessed. I'm telling you, I would love to have all three flavors. I would love that red one. I don't know of anybody that has the red one. Is it even available anywhere on the planet? Because I'd like to have the red one. I like the pink one. At first I didn't. I totally didn't. But now I do. I should get the Kiragami pouches. But anyway, you guys, this bag, and to me this bag screams summer and spring. Now I could carry this all year around, but I probably won't. I, I'll probably, you know, get it out and carry it some, but not... To me, this is a spring and summer bag, a vacation bag, a weekend getaway bag, you know, when you have on a pair of nice white pants and a white tee and this, this with a pretty belt. Oh, yes. It looks like you're going to the Caribbean. I mean, just look like a million bucks with this bag. This is a beautiful bag and I would love to have more of this collection. I just, it's Mediterranean blue. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Yes. I, I mean, I could just stare at it all day. You guys, and it really annoys me when I hear other YouTubers saying, yeah, the Neverfull, it's an entry bag. It's a starter bag. It's, it's so basic. There is nothing basic about this, okay? There's nothing basic about any of the ones that I showed you. And there's nothing basic about a $1,500 bag. <laughs> I mean, we in the luxury community, we're all crazy, okay? <laughs> How many people really go out and spend $1,500 for a bag? And, and call it basic, okay? This one was more. But what I'm saying is, it is not basic. None of the Neverfulls are basic. They are very well-made bags. Well, they were. <laughs> but they're very user. I mean, these are just great bags. And this, this, you know, I just got this one last year and it's excellent quality. And so that's why I questioned the other one that I got in the Galay because maybe they just sent me a really crappy bag. That's what I'm hoping. Now, let me show you the insert. And I've showed this a lot. I've linked it so many times, you guys. It's my all time favorite insert for a tote of the MM size, and I even use it in my GM, but they come in all colors. They have all these pockets. I love this big zipper part here on the inside. Look at that. So one of the complaints that a lot of people have with a Neverfull is that, you know, to travel with it, you can't zip it up. Well, here you can. So with a Samorga, you know, some of them have that little Velcro thing, but this is an actual zipper. Bam. Just put it in there and zip that baby up, right? So your step is secure. And 
the zips and then here's something you could put your cell phone on the outside or keys for easy access <sighs> these are great i love them so I like to really just put my organizers in my bags and keep them in there and really not switch about. Sometimes I will just pull this out and put it in another one, but some of them I just kind of like to coordinate the colors. And I thought this blue with this pink was so, so pretty. So, so this one to me is my most beautiful and I am absolutely thrilled and I found this one on the website and ordered it off the website. That's my Neverfull collection. Anything but basic, you guys. I love the Neverfull and I'm just disappointed in Louis Vuitton right now, but I don't know of another tote, honestly, that can top the Neverfull in my book. The most amazing tote you can buy is the Neverfull. And with this organizer, your problem is solved because you can put your things in there and zip them up. And of course you have this big pocket in the back. So that is my number full collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, I have something exciting to tell you guys. Okay. So my husband is totally remodeling the entire basement for his man cave. I am not helping him. I am not picking out anything. Our house, I picked out everything and I decorated it. I kind of had a, oh, you know, vision how I wanted it to look. So he is remodeling the gym. He's remodeling his man cave. There's one little part down there that's going to be a playroom for the girls, but he's doing it himself. So I film here in my closet and it's kind of a narrow closet. I feel like I'm very limited and I have these shelves on both sides. And then right over there is another closet that my clothes are in. So I've always wanted an office with a desk. We have a spare room and nothing is in it except a dresser. <laughs> I am getting a new office. So I'm going to start looking for the perfect desk and I'm going to have an actual filming room. Okay. It's not like Shay Whitney's. She's got an um, awesome filming room and I'm not going to move all this stuff because all this stuff was custom made for in here. I'm just leaving it. It's really going to be just a desk, an office, maybe a nice chair to sit in and film, and maybe a shelf with a few bags that I'm featuring. I am so super excited to start this little journey. I'm finally going to have my own office, and I'm super excited. I just want to share that with you guys. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel. You guys, you know what I want for Christmas? I want to hit 4,000 subscribers. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but tell everybody you know to subscribe. And when we hit to 4,000, when we get to 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a painting giveaway of a handbag. All right. So I'll see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.